Andy, obviously coming off the bench and scoring, you must be delighted with that. Yeah, obviously good to get your first goal, obviously. Try up and running and playing well and break into the team because we're doing so well. And uh, it takes a wee bit of something at the goal because we've ended up with a draw, but it's nice, especially the way the goal went in. And it started to kind of come back, it was really nice and I'm delighted to get off the mark. You've been desperate to get off the mark and, and what a finish, what a way to get off the mark. I hope a few more, eh? <laughs> a few more of the same would be nice. I was... I've been training well, you know what I mean? It's a lot, obviously, when you come into a new club, your performances are magnified more how you're playing. And I know myself, I've not started well. And I've spoke to the gaffer about it, but all you can do is keep trying, get your head down and work hard. And it's a lot easier as well because of how well the team's doing. It's easier to train with and keep positive. If your team's not playing well and you're not playing well, it's a terrible place to be. But I was obviously performing, but the team is. So it's kind of digging me at a hole slightly. And obviously coming in, doing... A, having a good 25 minutes which is what I did and obviously putting that something in the gaffer's mind obviously for the next game and seeing how the 4 2 worked and playing wide and I've come in and had an impact along with Dell as well what a finish and James McFadden he don't he came on and played excellent but that's what you expect from him so it was nice obviously there you're saying you enjoyed your 30, well 25-30 minutes that you played today mm-hmm. so does that kind of boost you going ahead to the to the, the games that are coming up of course you got to grab on every bit of positive anything positive you can do you know what I mean and I know as I said and I'm going to regret it I know I've not started well but you can just get your head down and go on with it you can kill you or you can go on with it and uh, it's good to get a wee goal playing well I know I've come on and played really well so it's good and getting into the Morton games you know what I mean we're still the results again another disappointing fact the results have went our way again today and if we'd grabbed the three points which was in our hands we could have been sitting top joint top with someone What do you remember about the goal today? Turning up and just seeing it nestling in the back of the net. I've come in, I remember picking the ball up and I've run down the line and the boy matched me for pace and he's got himself in a good position. I've come in and another boy's way to walk it and I've come in again. I could hear the bench shouting, Where's he going? <laughs> Where's he going? But I'm thinking I've taken it too far, but it's it's one of the ones if I've hit that and it's went wide, it's just killing me, but thank God it went in the top corner. Did you pick out that top corner? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I've done it before. <laughs> I'll do it again, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're joking. You know, you're joking about it, but you are disappointed. I know you're disappointed that it's only a point today. Of course, you come on. Obviously, we've been second best for the first sixty minutes. There's, there's no point in hiding from that. You know that. But you come on, me and Dale grabbing the two goals. Good. Obviously, change the formation. It's worked really well. 2-1 up and you're thinking after not playing really well and we've been 2-1 up just see it out that's us we've got three points after being because that's what the making of a team if you want to finish top four or even win the league it's these kind of games you need to pick up points in when you're not playing well do you know what I mean you're not going to play well for 36 games of the season that's impossible nobody does but it's picking up points in the games that are going to win you the league or get you in the top four as you say there, it wasn't the best performance for the first hour. No. So when you look back on it, I'm sure you will be happy with the point. But you're always happy to get something that's better than nothing, I suppose, at the end of the day. But being 2-1 up, as I keep saying, you've got to think to yourself, three points, there you go, sit in, see it out, get home, next one, in the way. But points again, the games have went our way and we're still there and thereabouts. And it's been, whether you like it or not, it's been a great start. We've only been beat once. Since the start of the competitive games, we've been beat once, and that's a credit to the backroom staff and the team. And he's formed a good, good squad. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, again, there's three subs coming on right away that you could easily start in any team in this league. It just shows you how strong we are. Livingston newly promoted, but they showed that they're a good side today. Yeah, I mean, we we didn't have any disrespect for them at all. We've worked in it at training. We know exactly what we're going to get, and it wasn't a surprise when they came out and played well. Like the, the results they're picking up is obviously proven. What kind of team they are and. If they keep playing like that, they're going to be safe. And they're going to cause anyone problems here if they keep playing like that. They're very direct and they're, they're right in your face. They're very fit, strong, fast. They know exactly what they've got a game plan and they play it at perfection. Obviously, you want to win home games so, and take something away from home. So would you have settled for a point before? No. You know, <laughs> there's never a game you win and you're not looking to win. It doesn't matter if it's Real Madrid, Barcelona. You're still, it doesn't matter what level you're playing at. You're going to a game and the only mindset you've got is, I want to win. Anything else is a bonus. Like anything else is, it's not good enough. I've never, <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't work game. I've never been in a game and thought, oh, what point would I do this here? You go into every game thinking, I can win this. That's what you have to be like. And I know everyone in that dressing room is the exact same. You might not say it in front of people, but that's the exact same mindset you have for every single game you play. You're back home next week against Morton, so 
You always want to win that one. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> again, if we go against Morton and we pick up any kind of points, we're again back on track. Then we're still and it's leading up to a good first quarter. Do you know what I mean? Anything. Push if we stay in that top four for the first quarter, anything's possible. And you see it right away across the board. Nothing. Everyone kind of had them the United to be runaway winners of this league, and then there again, the bogey team, Dumbarton, they not picked up another three points, and they're further away for the pack. And St Mon, who have started off brilliantly, obviously, and Morton, who kind of had a wee shaky start, two 0 down at half time. They could back one three two, and they've put themselves back in contention. So it'll be a good game. There's no easy games in this league, as we've seen already. You see it there, you know, you have made a decent start to the season in this championship. That's very important, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's, it can make or break a season if you have a good start. Anything, you're, you're giving yourself the best chance possible to push on for there. And it's just a good building confidence. And we're getting used to not get beat. That's kind of, that just shows you. Like, we're not thinking at any point, oh no, this is it. But we just have this resilience that we're not going to get beat. I know we've maybe not won games we should have won but there's games where we shouldn't win and we're picking up points here and there and we're scoring for fun just now and the defence is looking solid and the strikers are all scoring they're all chipping on the goals so it's a good place to be right now and obviously you've got yourself on this I know. and amongst the goals now so yeah. is that pressure off you? of course not you always look to improve and everything I know <laughs> <laughs> most determined guy in the world I just it's good it takes a wee, obviously a wee bit of pressure off you but you just look to build and everything and keep proving it's all I can do is keep getting better and keep proving to everyone why obviously the gaffers went out and signed me and I, 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 don't get me wrong there is a lot of pressure going out at a new club to play well and maybe it squats to me slightly but hopefully I can get up and running again and I've played well in the championship before so there's no reason I can't do it again You've already said <coughs> that there's a good squad here mm-hmm. and obviously the addition this week of James McFadden when you signed yourself would you have thought a Scottish international or former Scottish international would be joining you? No, <laughs> it's just it's just a good sign for the club. You know what I mean? It might be obviously, or people think he's past it. He's not. He trains every day, and people say, "Oh, can't play that." He trains in Astro every day. People say he can't play in Astro, and it's just good to even just have a bit of club for even the young boys used to look up to and go, just learn we just stupid things that you even just pick up from anything you can learn. It's brilliant. Again, like the Dobbs as well. He's done at the top level. Even Dell, he's been here for many years. It's good to have the kind of characters around it. It's good for a dressing room with that experience to know how to deal with the good situations and the bad situations. Help us all through it. I'm one of the older ones, God almighty. <laughs> I'm talking about them being old. I'm one of the older ones. <laughs> it's obviously um, a strong dressing room. Yeah. But players like James coming in just gives you that extra boost, I suppose, does it? Yeah, it gives you that extra wee just boost from just them even being there and then around the club and on the bench talking to you even just anything it's just great to have and it just like another one that oh god my position's up for grabs again and look who is <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean somebody else is there to take my position it's a guy who scored the world goal against France <laughs> might be a wee bit hard but it's good it keeps you on your toes and it can only make you a better player obviously you're finished today does that not uh, do his from I know, France he let us down he's only a sub that didn't <laughs> score <laughs> sure his one against France was a wee bit more important than mine <laughs> but it's alright I take what I get